In just a few minutes, we will enter the structure behind me here and begin the last two performances of the British pageant for 2017. Uh, Heber C. Kimball, when he was here on his mission and served and, and loved and, and brought the gospel to so many people, said as he was leaving that this, these people had become brothers and sisters to him and the place had become holy ground. Similarly, I feel like this spot of green here in England with a temporary building has become holy to me because in it, I have felt God's love for me, for my family, and for many others who have come to hear the message of the restoration of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We've had a wonderful two weeks in the pageant. We've been blessed with over 15,000 visitors. They've traveled from all parts of the world. We've had visitors from Peru, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Germany, France, Italy, and I could go on. And of course, from all over Great Britain. This work is a wonderful work that brings people together and it sends a message that the church is the family, the family is the church, and that the Saviour loves and cares for his people today. The highlight for me had to be portraying Joseph Smith, especially in front of uh, the Apostle Elder Ballard. This is my beloved son, hear him. It was amazing and something I can tell my grandkids when I'm older. One of the most special experiences of the pageant for me was during one of the large group numbers when my children were also able to dance with me on stage and everybody in the cast took part and we did this huge pinwheel around the stage and the audience was smiling and they were clapping and we were all joined together in this beautiful moment that represented a sense of unity and a sense of family. We've come together, we've worked hard, we've sung together, we've danced together, we've cried together, we've celebrated together and the fruits of our labours have been rich. It's been a joyous journey, an exhausting journey, but abundantly worth it as participants and audiences have felt closer to God's love. I cried from the very beginning to the very end. It was absolutely magnificent and I felt that the spirit that was in with the cast was so strong and powerful, everybody felt it. The singing was beautiful, it was like a choir. Just like angels, angels singing. Yeah. My heart is full of gratitude and just feel like I want to be a better person. And it was a tremendous experience and uh, fantastic. Absolutely loved it. I had to hold back my tears. It was really exciting, the music and everything. It was just really inspiring. It's one of those things that uh, lifts your heart, raises your vision, uh, restores your faith. It's just renewing. I yeah, just loved it. Last time we were here, at the start of this journey, I said I would take you to America to have this experience. Having just witnessed it, and felt the spirit of the saints and see my son act um, as David Ashton. Um, the, the spirit was just amazing. I would travel to the moon to take you to have that experience, having just witnessed that. I love you, son, that was amazing. It's been such an amazing opportunity for me. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, son. For getting me along and bringing me here. I love it's you. It's been fantastic. I love you. And thank you for representing those wonderful saints so well. The things what we are doing here is helping people to understand what the gospel is all about. It's all about the family, it's all about the, the love that Christ has for us and it is the Heavenly Father's way to tell us He is so, so eager to get us in His arms and in, in the arms of His love.